My name is Greg Canessa, and I'm the project director for the new Battle.net service here at Blizzard Entertainment. Battle.net, as you know, Battle.net is a service with a long and storied history, very successful for the company, very strategic. Launching with Diablo and then moving on to StarCraft, Diablo 2, Warcraft 2 Battle.net Edition, and then of course eventually um, Warcraft 3. Our vision for the new Battle.net service is nothing short of building a world-class online game service for all Blizzard games. There are three, really three key design tenets or pillars of the new Battle.net experience. The first is the always connected experience, and this is really where uh, the concept of a persistent character, many of the benefits of being always connected to Battle.net throughout the gameplay experience inside and outside of the game come in. So the, uh, the character, the persistent character that's online uh, at all times, being able to socialize and chat with friends inside and outside of the game, having the connected experience extend into the single player experience, uh, having a full achievements and unlockable reward system. That achievement system will be, uh, it's kind of a cross between uh, what you see in WoW and what you see in other online game services uh, in that we have um, the ability to earn achievements. Characters have, you know, players using their StarCraft II Battle.net character can earn achievements, uh, single player achievements in the campaign as well as in skirmish or co-op versus AI modes. And unlockable rewards in the new Battle.net come in two forms uh, for the ship. Of, of StarCraft II, uh, portraits and decals. You'll be able to go and select any uh, portrait that you've earned uh, as your portrait to show off to the community. Uh, and any one that you have not earned you'll, will be grayed out and you'll be able to right click on that and view the correlated achievement. So you'll be able to go earn that achievement and then they'll unlock that. So you can sort of, in a way, you can collect them all. The second pillar or tenet is the competitive arena for everyone. That's really the design principle that that speaks to our desire to make a great structured competitive play experience for everyone on the new Battle.net, uh, while at the same time making it accessible to a whole new audience. And some of our more casual gameplay modes, uh, custom games, co-op versus AI, we have a practice league, a lot of the competitive features really are in that second tenet. What we've done for the competitive player, the hard, more hardcore player, is we've created a new auto matchmaking system on Battle.net for StarCraft II. This auto matchmaking system is the most sophisticated system that we've ever created, and frankly, one of the most sophisticated, we think, in the industry uh, to date. Uh, what it does is it learns. It's a learning system. So you play uh, games using the auto matchmaking system, and the, the system will learn uh, your skill level as you play through uh, games. Say you want to play uh, on our league's ladder system in a structured team with you and two of your buddies. So you want to have a three-way team. Uh, you invite your two friends into the party, and then you click on Quick Match, our auto matchmaking system, and you'll be match made in a 3v3 game competitively and be ranked with those two other players on on our league's our new league's ladder system. The third pillar is connecting the Blizzard community. This is really where some of our social networking and communication aspects of the new battle and experience come into play. Everything from forming up a friends list, chatting and socializing, text chat as well as voice chat, cross-game communication across from, between StarCraft II and World of Warcraft and Battle.net, uh, as well as broadcast system notifications and, and other uh, aspects of social networking aspects of, of play. Battle.net, of course, since it is a Blizzard uh, service, is being built specifically around Blizzard games. Unlike other online game services out there, um, we can afford to do very tightly integrated, deeply integrated uh, gaming scenarios and metagame features, community features, specific to our games that other online game services you may be familiar with can't pull off. We want to take, it, take advantage of the opportunity to relaunch Battle.net and create a service that with a set of features that is not only works for World of Warcraft and for StarCraft II, but will power all Blizzard games going forward. That is the opportunity that is in front of us, and that is why we're investing so much time in creating uh, the next generation of Battle.net.